Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a full face of impressions featuring my boxy charm Lux. So this is what it looks like. It's way bigger than the rest of boxy charm. This is my first time getting the boxy Lux box. I am not disappointed at all. So first I'm going to start off with a couple things like that are hair related. Um, so the first thing is this black, it's PYT, inside here is the little mini hair dryer, which I'm like, ah. and it's like a corally hot pinkish color, which this is so handy for travel, it's so little and compact. Now like, I don't use a hair dryer on the regular, but like if I'm at like it's summertime, we're going to the beach, whatever, and I want to be able to dry my braids. This is great for that. It also comes with attachments, which is even better. Um, and I would just use this on my regular hair too, because sometimes I don't. I feel like you have more control with the smaller one than you do with a bigger one. So I just, I'm excited for this. And this is... This is $85. This box is like $30 something dollars. I'll leave it, I'll leave it down below because I don't really remember how much like it costs. But I know it's not $85. So that was the first thing. Um, and then the next thing was, um, I'm sure this is for a lot of people awesome. The Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast Instant Lasting Volume and Texture Spray. This is a full size and this is $29. I don't use sprays because that was on my hair and braids. Um, so I'm going to be passing this along. I don't know to who. I mean, does anybody, do you guys want this? I don't know. Um, because I'm not, I'm not going to use it, so let's just go to somebody that's going to use it, right? So that's nice, too. So now we're going to get started on the makeup. Um, I'm going to go through, like, my normal steps of makeup, and then when I get to the boxy um, charm stuff, I will, like, mention it specifically. But most of the stuff is new stuff that I have not tried before, for the most part. So, first impressions. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm going to start with my eyes and the primer that I'm going to use is the Elizabeth Mott Think Me Later. Now this is on Amazon and the reason why I got it is because like it had so many good reviews and I freaking whew, have oily eyelids like crazy and like I cannot um, I cannot find a good primer that doesn't melt my eye makeup off. Um, so um when wanting to try this. I think it was like $13 or so on Amazon. The great and powerful Amazon. So. It doesn't really have a color to it, which is fine for me, but I know some people like having color on to their eyeshadow primer. Alright, so I'm going to set that with the powder that I'm going to use to set my whole face and that's the Hourglass Translucent Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Again, I heard a lot of good things about this, so I'm just going to use that to set. Anyways. Here, so it's hard for me. Let me see. I'm moving the camera. I'm moving the camera, but I want to be like actually facing you while I'm doing this. So, okay. Now for eyeshadow, I just wanted to keep it simple, and I pick the Kaja Chocolate Dahlia, and that it's these little itty bitty. They come in with three eyeshadows. There's a shimmer. And then two mattes. And I have never used these before, but I, I keep seeing them. And I think Tara Baby Z 
like raves about these so I'm like I need it and we all know I love this my shadow so just gonna go in with the lighter of the matte shades and put this in my crease Right, and then I'm going to take the darker matte shade and just go a little bit lower on my eyelid and into the outer V. Alright, and so then I'm going to just take the shimmer shade with my finger and put it on my lid. Are you guys seeing this? Woo, honey. This, this is not disappointing. We all know how I feel about shimmer shadows. They're my jam. Yes, I also got another one of these, so I'm super excited about how that shimmer is going to look in there. But yeah, that's all for the eyes um, for right now because we're keeping it simple. I need a makeup wipe. Makeup wipe. Save my life. Makeup wipe. My life. Just gonna let that a little bit of fallout in my inner corner, but that's it. Okay, so next I'm just going to put on some eyeliner. This isn't new. I don't really have a new eyeliner to use. Oh, I did get a, I did get a fan from the Dollar Tree, but it's kind of broken, so, so it's like, you like, you can't really flip it. But it's, it was a dollar, so it, should I expect it? But I think we could still, I'm trying to see, can I still, can I still, still make it work. Oh, he and I got my first, like, I have an actual, like, real fan, and I got it from Dracon. It's huge. It's amazing. I love it. Alright, so now we come to the first 
item from our boxy charm boxy lux box oh, can i put that right there right. hold on i'm trying to open it okay there we go there we go i think we got it i think we got it okay I also, well, let me mention this because this is a face product and it's an AHA red, um, resource, blah, 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 blah. Dry. So this is by the brand Pharmacy and it's their Honey Glow AHA Resurface Night Serum with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids. And this is also full size and it is, um, ooh, this is $58. So I will be, I do like AHAs, so I will be using this and trying it out at night. I have like super, I, my, dry, my skin is super dry right now, so it's flaking like a mother. So we need some exfoliation and resurfacing for sure up in here. Okay, but the first thing I want to test out from BoxyCharm is an interesting product. This is the Trustique um, Good Vibes Mascara. And it comes with a eyelash curler. So I'm not sure how to use this. There's instructions like here on the thing. So you pop this off, push this down. So this, this right here is like the eyelash curler. It's like, I'm assuming that you like do this. I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. So let's put on the mask. Oh wait, let's curl our lashes and then we'll pop on the mascara. Um, this is interesting because it's little so you can only do a little bit at a time I don't know I don't know how I feel about this ow I feel like it's a cool concept, but I feel like it takes too long to curl my lashes. So I think I would just stick with a regular eyelash curler. I mean, I like the curler, don't get me wrong, but it's just like, it's hard to see what you're doing, really. And if you're like actually curling all your lashes or what's going on, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna... Back. And then this is what the wand looks like. I hope this is like focusing. Is it? Is it? Okay. So I'm going to start with this on my bottom lash line and then we'll put it on top. I mean, look at that one versus the other one. So, I mean, I do think it's nice. Alright, so there are my eyelashes. Is that even in focus? I have no idea. I hope so. I mean, I like it. I mean, I like, I feel like I feel with the headband and everything in my eyeliner, I feel very like retro-ish. So, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Let's Alright, so before I do anything else, I think I'm going to start on the face. And then go back and finish my um, bottom lash line. So, another boxy charm product that we received. I cannot. Okay. Is the no no the touch and sew no pore brim prime essence. And it looks like this. So this is, let me see, 
what the directions say. And this is $23. So this says, it says, it tightens and up pores and keeps the skin looking silky. So I already um, applied moisturizer on top to my face. So this is supposed to be the last step in your skincare routine. So we're just going to, ooh, it's very like liquidy, which I guess since it's an essence, it smells like flowers. It's not like a strong sm smelling like of flowers, but um, you can definitely smell it. So I like it. All right, so there it is on my face. Um, well, I'm letting that set. Another skincare product that came is some Dr. Brown, which I freaking love. And this is their Clean Biotic pH Balanced Yogurt Cleanser with Chlorophyll. And yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm excited to try it out. We'll be trying this because I do love my some Dr. Brown. So let's see what it smells like. Doesn't smell like I can't really count. There doesn't seem to be a scent on that, so I mean, this is probably expensive because Dr. Brandt's pretty pricey. So this is oh no, this is thirty-five dollars, which is pretty reasonable. And if I love it, I'll be able to repurchase it. I dropped my card. One moment, please. Oh yeah, what are you Okie dokie. I don't think my autofocus is on, so if I'm in and out, I apologize because I, I think it's not on. Okay, I'm put back in there. So now that that's set, oh, it's a little bit tacky, which is nice. So continuing with the no touch and soul brand, I'm gonna use the no pro pore blem primer. Oh my god, it's going underneath my nail. Um, which I have used before, but I can't remember what I thought. Of. Ooh. It is. I might have used too much. I like the way it smells too. And the reason I'm like really on my nose right here is because my skin right here is super dry and crusty. No matter the whatever. Um, foundation I'm using so I'm trying to like really get in there and like uncrustify it because it'll be looking real rough like mm. alright so today we're going to be using the Juvia's Place Velvety Melt Velvety Melt Velvety Matte Foundation and I have the shade 450 Casablanca so I've seen like a lot of reviews on this which is you know not good but um, so far people are Okay, happy about it. Um, I like Judy Julia's place, so I'm excited. And I think I did good with like the color matching too, because I was, like kind of all over the place. But it's a little bit like warmer than my skin tone, but that's okay. Oh lord, this is full coverage. <laughs> like this side of my face versus this side of my face. Okay. Um, let's see my, my nose, just put a little dab also because my nose gets like red too, so, wow. You don't need a lot, I have a lot on my hand left, so I'm just going to do the dab, do my forehead. Yeah, be careful because you don't need a lot of this. And I'm like, this is more. Less is more. 
well. I like the way that this looks on my skin. This looks flawless on my skin. Like, I don't really like full coverage um, foundation. It's a more like medium coverage type of gal. Um, but this is like in, looks insane. Like, oh my god. So I, I like the way it looks on my skin. Like I feel like it looks really good and flawless. So now I'm going to go in with their concealer, which is a big hunky thing. And I have a shade 17, which I think is a little bit too light for me, but we're still going to go with it. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Duo Fiber brush for this. I will say that this the um, concealer is a lot like creamier than the foundation for sure, oh, but I don't mind it. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to be setting it with the Hourglass Veil Primer. Everybody like raves about this, so I want to give it a go. I'm just gonna use a large powder brush and set my whole face with this. I feel like my skin looks fake. <laughs> That's why I'm like, oh god, like, is that me? Yeah, this look is, this combo is like completely flawless. Like, it's kind of out of control because I'm like, That's insane. And it doesn't feel like I'm wearing heavy makeup at all, which is even crazier. Like, I don't really feel it on my face. Like, it doesn't feel like anything. I'm just like, what is this? And even though my face is drier, so it looks a little bit dry around, just like on my nose, really. Just gonna, we're going to be using a setting spray, so hopefully that will help us out. Help us out. Help us stir out. Um, yeah. Ooh. Wow. 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 That's all I got to say about that. Okay, that's exciting that is exciting i don't know why my camera cut off but as i was saying we're gonna go in with the tartist pro glow three and i really want to try this one this bronzer shade because it looks like it has like a sheen to it i don't know if this is really going to show up on my skin because um it is a lot lighter but look, look, we'll see just gonna try it. Oh yeah, no, it does show up. Um, wow. That was more than I thought it was going to be. 
this foundation and this powder makes everything oh god it's making it go on so freaking nice like this is out of control In the pan, it looks like it has a sheen, but I don't know if that's necessarily translating on my cheeks. Um, but I like it. So we're just gonna go in and use a little bit of this. Okay, yeah, yeah this is kind of hard. This um, bronzer just to warm up the rest of my face. Now for blush, I'm going to use, I love this color, it's like a cooler, cooler toned pinkish purplish color, so that's my jam. So blush, blush, blush. There you are. Oh, I used too much. Ooh. Good thing that tar blushes like blend out pretty <laughs> Pretty nice. It's a little white for my skin tone, but it's there. Maybe I should add up a little bit. Right? Yeah, that's that was too much too. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just gonna add. There's glitter in my eye. It's cool. Okay. These are powdery, but. Alright, and then there's two highlights. I don't know which one I want to use. I think I'm going to go with the more like bronzier one. Where's the highlight brush? Ooh, girl. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that is a highlight. But everything blends so nice to the top of this foundation and concealer, like... It's alright. It's alright if you go... Oh god, I'm going like super crazy with this highlight and I don't know why. Tone it down. Tone it down. Okay. Woo wee. Um, yes, tart. Yes. This and this is forty-five dollars. So I have the Tartus Pro Blush and Glow. Pro Glow and Blush. I think it's called Pro Glow and Blush as well, and I really like that. But this is like super nice too. <laughs> yes. I love Tarte products, so I'm like this I was like, mm-mm. I want these because you do get to pick which, which one you want like there's they give you different options as to which one like certain products you want in your um, box and I specifically picked this one I think it was between this one and the the I don't know honestly I don't remember I know I picked it though I picked it because I was like gotta have this gotta have it 
All right, so now we're gonna set my face and we're gonna use, I've never heard of this company before. This is the Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy, Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. Okay, and it says to shake and then spray. Close your eyes. It says it's hydrating mist formulate to soothe, protect, and illuminate skin. Our glow-inducing tonic is inspired by Italian legend of St. John's Water and magical dew produced using flowers, herbs during the summer solstice. And it has black winter truffle, rosemary, ginger, peppermint, and Damascena rose. Okay, so we'll see. You can smell the pepperette. Mm. I love it. I personally love pepperette. The smell of pepperette. So, look, my broken fan. <laughs> Come on. What the heck? What the heck? No, it's just like, it's just like, it's just, I know how to do this, I promise. Well, it just like fell off. Okay, even better. Hmm. I mean, I feel like my face was already looking flawless and that just assisted in the, the process. Alright, so... Let's get on to some brows. So this I got in my Walmart. And I just lost the brush for this. This is the Salon Perfect Brow Defining Palette. And I like I said, I got this from my Walmart Beauty Box. Just $5. And it's seasonal. So I think you get it, what, what's four times a year? Three. Yeah, four times a year. Or, so I think this is just the universal one. I don't know if there's other colors, but it comes with four colors like this. It also comes with a brush, which I don't know what happened to it. Hold on. I mean, let's see this matter. Okay, so it comes with this brush with the spoolie and a brush on the other end. So I'm just going to brush through my brows. I don't usually use powders, but I wanted to try it. So I'm going to use like this, come on, this looks like it has shimmer in it. Ooh, but it is super soft. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this cooler toned and this warmer toned brown color. And I don't usually do my eyebrows with powder, so let's see how this goes. Is that okay? I don't know. I think the powders are super nice. I'm just not an expert at doing um, my eyebrows with powder. So they it does come with this uh, brow grooming pencil. So I'm just gonna kind of run it over this so that my brows could have some type of shape to them. I mean, they don't. It doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't. They don't look as defined as if I were to use a pencil. So, there's that. Um, but other than that, that's super nice. It does have like this white shimmer shade. So I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
better. I guess I'll use this under my eyebrows. Just, I'm just filming my makeup today. That's why I'm like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I don't have nowhere to go either, but maybe I'll go like run, run on errands so like the world can see me. Because I think I'm, my face is like super good right now. Alright, so now I'm going to finish off with under my eyes, and I think I'm going to use uh, this Salon Perfect, and I'm going to use this deep brown underneath my lash line okay now for eyeliner I'm going to use um, a different color than black I know shocking I'm going to use this um, color pop um, gel eyeliner I got picked up a couple of these um, they were having a sale, so um, I got this one in DTLA downtown LA, and it's a blue. And yeah, so hmm. I like it. It looks super smooth. Girl, I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now let's move on to the lips. For lipstick, I'm going to try this new. I got the mini set of Pat McGrath lipsticks, and this is in shade Flesh 3, which is the one that I really wanted the most. And these are so nice. color though so I love and then the last thing from BoxyCharm is going to be this lemonade lip gloss by Dominique Cosmetics at all this is I think probably doesn't have any moral color to it so it's like a shiny just lip gloss I'm just gonna put that on my lips and that got really messy really quickly that up. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so that is the finished look with the thin, full face. First impressions, I will list everything I used down below. But let's just go ahead and review what we got in our BoxyCharm Lux. So we got the hair products, the mini hair dryer, the dry, um, this is not really dry shampoo, dry volume blast. Texturizing spray. Then we got the Tartus a Pro Glow Volume 3. We got the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy uh, Illuminate Skin Mist. We got the Touch & Soul and No Problem Skin Essence. We got the, what is this, Trustique Volumizing Good Vibes Mascara with an Eyelash Curler. We got the Dr. Brandt um, PH Balance Yogurt Cleanser. And the Pharmacy Honey Glow, Honeymoon Glow AHA Resource Facing Night Serum. So, I think all in all, this was good. I think it was worth it. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items in here for like 30 something dollars a month. I will leave all the information about it down below. This is not sponsored by, sponsored by Box Charm or anything. I pay for it with my own money. And I just really like the box every month. So, if you have any questions about anything I use in this video, just leave them down below and I will see you next time. Bye.